I'm about to head out for a seven night vacation at an all-inclusive resort. And today I'm gonna to show you everything I bought for our trip to Punta Cana, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Asai. I am a travel agent and the owner of Scenic Views Travel. And here on this channel, I bring you resort reviews and tours, travel tips and tricks, and everything travel related. So like I said, we are about to head out to a seven night vacation to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. We're staying at the Dreams Flora Resort and I couldn't be more excited. But today I just wanted to show you everything that I purchased to get ready for this trip. At the time of this recording, we're actually set to leave in about 10 days. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna start with everything that I got for my son. I will do my best to try and link everything down in the description box for you where I can and where possible. Okay, so the first thing I got for my son is this cute little um, matching set with this Hawaiian shirt, tropical shirt, and then these matching white shorts. My son has blue eyes, so he's pretty much always dressed in blue. I don't know about you guys, if you have um, blue-eyed kids, do you do the same thing? I can't seem to keep him out of blue. I did get from Shein for this cute little outfit, and it was like under $10 for the set. Okay, also from Shein, I got this adorable tropical shirt in pink. Uh, he's got blonde hair too, so this just looks so cute on him. And then I went to The Gap and I got this just white linen button-down shirt from The Gap. It was on clearance and it says $16.99, but I think it was half off of that, so it was like eight bucks, something like that, just from The Gap Kids. Okay, so that's everything that I got for my son. Let's move on to my daughter. I should note that my son is eight years old and my daughter is 10. So let's see everything that I got for her. So everything for my daughter I did get from Shein and we'll start with this adorable purple ruffled dress. It's got these little flutter sleeves and this smocking on the bodice and then just a little ruffle here. Um, I think it's not lined, so it's pretty lightweight. And I wanna say that this was like seven or eight dollars. And then I got her this matching set, this white cute little crop top, and this adorable long skirt. And I don't know if you can see what it looks like here, but it's like eyelet lace type. Um, a cute skirt, long skirt for her, and it is lined to um, like her ankles or something like that. So she got this. And then also when we went to The Gap, I got this cute ribbed blue dress for her. Now even though she's 10, she is petite and on the smaller side. Um, so this comes to like just below her knees. And then back to everything that we got from Shein, I got her this sky blue little bikini bathing suit. And it's got a cute little strappy back here. And then the matching bottoms. And then I actually liked how that suit fit her so well that we also got it in this hot pink color. And it just looks so cute on her and also um, both are from Shein. And then the last thing that I got for her, also from Shein, and this is kind of a confusing top, but it is another bikini set, and it's this bright yellow, like twisty top set. And I actually wanna see if I can kind of sew this to where it needs to go, because otherwise this, um, She's worn it once so far, and this kind of winds up around her waist. So before we go, I'm gonna see if I can uh, sew that. And then it came with these super cute tropical bottoms. And it was a whole set that came with this matching cover up. And it's just like mesh material and then it ties in the front and it's the same yellow and the pattern matches the 
bathing suit bottoms. So that is everything I got for my daughter. We will move on to everything that I got for myself, which believe it or not is not much. I probably ordered at least, I don't know, $200, $250 worth of stuff from Shein and Amazon between the two and wound up returning everything except what I'm about to show you. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this matching set and it just came with this little ribbed thin tank top. I'm not even certain I will wear this exactly as I notice deodorant stains on it from when I tried it on, but this little black strappy tank top that goes with this long maxi skirt and it's got a little slit on the side, um, but just black and off-white color skirt. It's super lightweight. Um, it's got this like flat waistband in the front and then um, like stretchy in the back, but it's just nice and lightweight and hopefully it will be nice and comfortable for dinner in the Dominican. Okay, so something else I did buy for myself also from Shein is this off-white cover-up. It has holes in it. Um, it's hollow, I guess is what they call it. And oh, it's inside out, lovely. Let's flip this the right way. Okay, so it is like a knit uh, sweater material. There are small little slits on the side and in the back, it is kind of like backless, I guess you could see. There's this big hole, there we go. And I'm kind of short, it's 5'2", and on me it comes to um, my knees or a little bit above my knees. So I got that for myself. And then the only other thing I got for myself because none of the clothes worked and I already have a lot of really nice stuff to wear to dinner, but I did get this uh, cute bag. I needed something a little bit bigger and a little bit nicer than you know my Lululemon belt bag, and I don't really have anything like this, but it's got this long strap that you can wear, or you can carry it like this, you can do crossbody, and then inside, um, it's nice and big, great size, and then you can like draw string, oops, draw string the top closed if you want to. I doubt I'll do that because otherwise you can just sort of stuff it in there and then have it open all the way. So I got that, that's it that I got for myself, like clothing, accessory wise, um, unless I make some sort of order in the near future since we only have like 10 days before we leave. So now we will move on to toiletry, bathroom packing stuff that I ordered. Okay, so the first thing I got is not very exciting, but just these Clorox to-go wipes. I like to bring these on the plane so I can wipe down the tray table and um, in our room just give a quick little wipe down to some of the surfaces, the remote, um, maybe some of the things that the uh, housekeeping didn't address at first. And then I also got this 12 pack of lens wipes and I like to use these on our sunglasses. I actually just got these from the dollar store and the Clorox wipes I got from the Target travel section, but these were just from Dollar Tree, uh, comes with 12 of them and these are awesome for sunglasses, throw them in your beach bag. I actually have some, which is why I just got this small package instead of the large one. Uh, like at Target or something like that. So even though our resort does include shampoo and conditioner and all of those bathroom toiletries that you need, a lot of times my hair does get a little bit dry. I don't wash it every day at home, but on vacation I do because I'm in and out of the water. You know, you're, you probably know, but I did just get this little sample of an anti-frizz deep conditioner just from Walmart in their little travel section. I thought I'd try that. And then I also got from the same brand, this Hask Argon Oil, a five-in-one leave-in spray. And I'll use this both for myself and my daughter. She's got longer hair 
uh, but just to help get the tangles out after a long day in the pool and at the beach. Okay, and then from Shein, I got this five pack. It was like, I don't know, $2.50 or something, but this five pack of refillable perfume bottles. It's just plastic and the way that it works is you take this end and put it, you take the uh, nozzle off of the, I'll show you, hold that thought. Okay, so I have my favorite perfume here, this Dolce & Gabbana light blue summer vibes, but all you do in order to fill this up is take the top off, take the spray top off, and then take the bottom of the refillable bottle and put it on top of this nozzle here and then just pump uh, pump the, the bottle up and down and it'll fill this little bottle with perfume. So I got some extras of these for myself because I have a couple different kinds of perfume, but I also got them for my husband so he can take his cologne and not have to worry about the glass bottle breaking or having to worry about a large travel bottle because both of our brands I can't seem to find in like a travel roll-on or spray size. So, okay, so yeah, so this came in a package of five from Shein and I'll link that down below. Okay, so the last time that I traveled, I realized that I have a bit of a problem with my makeup taking up so much space in my toiletry bags and stuff like that. And I realized that a big part of the reason that it's a problem is my brushes. They take up so much space. So I bought a travel packet of brushes. And if you open it up, you can see there's all these different brushes in here. So we've got like a powder brush and a blush or contour brush. And then you've got all of these little um, eyeshadow brushes and things like that for concealer and stuff. But I love them because they're so small, they fit really well in this little case and they won't take up nearly as much room as my large regular size brushes will. So I'm pretty excited to try these out for the first time. Okay, and then back to the last time that I traveled and we did carry on only, I realized that the clear zipper pouches that I use for all of my toiletries, it just wasn't cutting it for my, for my makeup anymore. So from Amazon, I ordered this adorable makeup bag. They do make this in double-sided, so there's a shorter side on top and then a larger one on the bottom. And that's actually the one that I first ordered before I got this one, but I found that that was still too large for my needs. And even though this is still approximately the same size as the clear zipper pouches I use for all of my toiletries, what I like best about this is I can open it up and I have all of my, whoops and I have all of my makeup in here and I can leave it in here and just keep the lid open and I don't have to take everything out of my zipper pouch and lay it out on the counter. So I'm really excited to use this for the first time for this trip. And then the last thing that I have for the like toiletry section of this video is a hair tool case. Now I have long straight hair uh, it's naturally straight, and if I don't use my Revlon volumizer hair dryer brush or a flat iron, uh, it does wind up a bit frizzy, particularly down in the Caribbean and the Dominican where we will be. So I got this hair tool case, and you open it up, and it's got this, first of all, it's got this mat where you can lay your hot tools on on the counter, and then you have this zippered pouch here and you have two sections to put your um, like hair dryer brush and flat iron. You even have some sections that you could put hair ties and a little zipper pouch for maybe some bobby pins or something like that or hair clips. And this bag will make sure that my Revlon hair dryer brush will not get damaged in my suitcase when we travel. Okay, so on to what I'm calling my miscellaneous category, and this is a little bit of everything else. So the first thing that I always like to travel with is my liquid IV, and this just helps when you've had a few too many cocktails 
Mai Tai's Margaritas by The Pool. This particular box I bought from BJ's uh, Wholesale Club because there was a coupon and it was a really great price. A lot of times I'll get it from Target um, or from Amazon, which I will link down below. But I like the sugar-free white peach personally, and I like to try and have one of these before I go to bed and possibly one in the morning when I wake up just to re-energize myself. And then I kind of feel like I'm living in the dark ages because I just bought a package of air tags. And even though I recommend these to all of my clients that are traveling, this will be my first time actually using them myself. This is a four pack I got from Amazon and it was a really good deal. I think there was an extra percent coupon off, but I will link these down below. I recommend you put these in any checked luggage that you can. And then one other thing that I always recommend to all of my all-inclusive clients is some kind of pool float. And I bought this four pack of mesh hammock floats. These are like three in one style floats. They have a, I'll put a picture up um, here, but they have on either end, like a blown up headpiece and then mesh in the middle. And then they came with this manual pump. However, we also bring inner tube style floats with us. So I also bought this rechargeable pump, air pump, that comes with all of these different attachments. Um, so this is for floats, as you can see, and then just some different, like this would be for an airbed size. And then it also came with this perfect little carry bag and charging cord. So this is rechargeable. It will pump up and deflate. I think this is to pump up and this one is to deflate. Now, I will say that usually when you go to an all-inclusive somewhere around the towel hut, they will offer to pump up your floats for you. However, for me, it's just so much more convenient to have it myself because at least I can deflate it that way too. Okay, and then something else in this miscellaneous category that I got for myself and my husband is snorkel gear. So I actually got this quite a while ago during Prime Day, but I got the this uh, greenish blue teal color for myself and black for my husband. What I like about this is that it is like a panoramic, they call it a panoramic view. There's no, um, you know, there's nothing blocking here. So you get a really clear view. And then the snorkel top attaches to the side on this little um, clip here. And it is a dry top snorkel, so if you dive down, water is not gonna come in. So I got that for myself and my husband. And then I don't have it with me, but we actually got a full face snorkel mask for my mother-in-law. Uh, she tends to struggle with getting a correct seal between um, her mask and the snorkel, you know, the actual snorkel thing. So we got her a full face snorkel mask in the hopes that it would be a better fit for her. She has tested it out, it doesn't leak, and we're hoping that she has a wonderful experience on our snorkeling trip to Catalina Island. And then the final thing that I bought for our trip to Punta Cana is actually something I'm using right now. And that is my new DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera. And I'm currently recording on this. I will try to get some B-roll footage of it. But I did get the Creator Combo. I will link this down below and I'm already absolutely in love with it. With the Creator Combo, you of course get the camera. You also receive the protective cover to keep it in. It comes with a wide lens, a wide angle lens that you can actually store right in here. It comes with the extension handle that you can fit a tripod to. It comes with the extended battery pack, which also has a tripod fitting as well. It comes with a wireless microphone and dead cat attachment. And it also comes with a mini tripod. And, and it comes with this handy carrying case that 
will hold all of the little pieces in here, except for the protective cover is what I found. So what I actually got was this carrying case and it unzips and it has space for every little piece, including storing the camera inside the protective cover right in here. So I know that when I travel with this, that it won't get messed up or broken or anything like that. Okay, so here we are with everything that came in the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 box. We have the box, this is the carrying case, and it has a spot for everything that you could need. It's just a soft carrying case, so it's good for quick uh, putting away. And then here, of course, is the camera, and you just flip it this way to turn it on. You can film in both horizontal and vertical format. And then it also came with the extension handle that you can attach a tripod to. It came with the extra battery pack and this will charge your camera up during use. And you can also attach a tripod to it. It came with the wireless mic and little magnet holder to attach to your shirt or your jacket and it came with a dead cat for use in the wind it came with this little mini tripod the wide angle lens attachment the protective carrying case and then I also purchased a an SD card it needs a micro SD card and this is the protective case that I got to fit everything in, and I'll show you how that works right now as I do it one-handed. But the camera goes right in here and right here. I forgot to put the lens back in the protective case, but that's okay. The tripod goes there. The battery pack goes there. The mic goes here, and the dead cat can fit right in there. And then the extension handle, whoops, goes right here. And then you zip it up and you're ready for travel. And one of the reasons that I did buy this camera is because I am planning on viewing several other resorts during our trip, which I'm pretty excited about, and to bring those resort tours and reviews to you in the future. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and please consider subscribing. And go ahead and take a look at this video to see my latest resort tour and review. Have a great day. Bye guys.